You're watching Realistic Fishing, the most realistic fishing show on YouTube. No bullshit, no fake sponsored content. You know how I do it. I can only sum it up by saying one thing. To borrow a quote from Hall of Famer Ron Simmons, all I gotta say is... Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's a breezy summer day. We're over here at the Lucky Unlucky spot. And I'm gonna try something I don't fish with very often, a Ned rig. Let's see what we can do. Here's what I'm fishing with. Finesse Shrooms, Z-Man Aztec, TRD Hogs. This combination right here. I'm fishing 15 pound test braid. Tied to 12 pound mono with an Albright knot, a modified Albright knot. So I am using a mono leader today. My major concern is snags. This will snag anything and everything in the water. Hopefully it snags a fish. I'm going to fish shallow enough that I can get my snags off if I walk over there. Hopefully. I consider this a finesse technique. The tackle is so light. You couldn't fish this tiny little Ned rig on a bait caster. It just wouldn't cast. Snagged. Let's go over there and see if I can get it before I lose the lure. Nope. There we go. Got it. Got lucky. I'm just gently hopping this along the bottom. And I got another snag. Hey, pulled it free. Straightened out my hook. Let's see if we can bend this back. Yeah, there we go. My hook point is kind of shot, but we're going to keep trying. Snagged. All right, so far that's three snags and zero fish. Bent my hook again. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. How many snags can I catch with a Ned Rig? So far I'm at three in about five minutes. Oh, you have a stick in the water? Ned Rig will catch it. You got a rock? Ned Rig. Anything? Ned Rig. Fish? Maybe not. Snagged. Got that one free though. Let's keep going. So far that's four snags and zero fish. 
I've heard people say, if you use the small light jig head, you won't get as many snags. Well, I'm using a tiny jig head, and so far I got a load of snags. This is why I never use this lure, because it snags everything. It basically stands up with the hook ready to snag anything. Yeah, looks cool, right? All I caught was snags. Snag, 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 one after the other. Let's try something else. Now we're gonna fish the same lure, but on a Texas rig. Let's see if we do any better. I'm hoping to get snagged less. I'm gonna fish it in a very similar way, just kinda hop it on the bottom. Fish. That's a nice fish. I gotta get down here, see if I can grab him. Got him. Look at this fish, as soon as I switched. Wow, he's bending my hook. Look at that, look at that, just barely got him. He almost bent my hook out. Yeah, there we go. That's why I fished the Texas rig, right there. Now that is a gorgeous fish, especially for my lake. Look at that got this black spotting yeah yeah beautiful fish beautiful fish let's get a picture yeah check it out now that is a nice bass nice let's let it go Texas rig, I'm telling you. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Now let's see if I can salvage this hook. It's kind of a light wire hook, right? <laughs> wow, he did a number on it. Yeah, there we go. That looks acceptable. Let's get our rig back together. Get back to fishing. All right, we're back in working order. Let's see if we can get another one. And the funny thing is, I fished that spot with the Ned rig, but I was too busy getting snagged as soon as I switched over bass a nice bass when you have the right combination for your rig that's when you start getting bites that was a big bass for such a small lure reminds me of the other video where I caught a similar bass on a craw with no claws just the grub body it was pretty amazing Go back and check that video out if you haven't seen it. So yeah, I already proved my point just catching that one fish so far. Now we're just fishing for fun. Let's see if we can get another one. See this? A lot less snags. I don't even think I've had one snag yet. And I've definitely had more fish. One. One big one.
fish. All right, there we go. Second fish of the day. There we go. We got about a three quarters pound bass here. Nothing compared to that last fish I had. That last one was a tank, but I am happy to get this one. Yeah, let's look at him in the sun. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good looking bass here. Got him on that Texas rigged Ned rig bait. Z-Man TRD hogs. Second fish on a Texas rig. That's two to zero now. Let's let him go. Nice. Still looks good, let's keep fishing. You just saw two great reasons why I love the Texas rig. Oh, thought I felt a bite. Thought I felt a bite. Still got my bait though, everything looks good. This is Kenny Sal from Rock and Wrestling Federation, RWF. You're watching Realistic Fishing. You better keep it realistic. Could have been a sunfish. Could have been a bass. We're going right back out there. Not interested this time. Let's keep moving. Not one snag yet. That was a nibble. Something pecked at it. That time I didn't set the hook though. Could be small fish like bluegill. Got him. All right. Third bass of the day right here. Yeah, he's hooked down in there in the roof of the mouth. He wanted it. Yeah, I got you off the hook. I just want to take a look. I'm going to let you go, bruh. Here we go. Yeah, this fish looks very similar to that last one. And someone has caught this fish recently. See that hole? That's not where I hooked him. Anyway, good looking fish. Third fish on the Texas rigged Ned rig bait. There's three reasons why I like to Texas rig them instead of Ned rig them. Let's let him go. Fish number three. Awesome. Oh, check it out, that bass got me. Still got my rig, let's keep going. I thought I felt a bite out there, casted it back out there a couple times. He was there. Nice half pound bass. All right, let's go try that rock face one more time and then I'm out of here.
another bass here also with some black spotting but yeah another bass here quarter pounder with cheese that's fish number four on the Texas rigged Ned rig Z-Man TRD hogs reason number four to Texas rig what is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. Still got my bait. Let's keep going. Maybe we can get one more. We're out of here. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I caught four largemouth bass on a Texas rigged TRD hogs from Z-Man. I tried the Ned rig, I couldn't catch anything but snags, and now you know why I like the Texas rig. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.